Hi, my name is Kelly and this is my youngest daughter, Caitlin. Welcome to Soul Strength Fit Kids, your spot for fun Bible stories and exercise. It's easy. All you have to do is copy what we do. We'll start seated on our bottoms. Let's bring our hands to our heart and close our eyes. Dear God, we love you and we're excited to hear your story from the Bible today. Amen. Now, today's story is actually a story that Jesus himself taught. One day, a large crowd of people gathered around Jesus. Let's come up and pretend that we are the townspeople in Jesus' time. They are so excited that Jesus is in their town to teach them. Start doing jumping jacks now to show how excited you are that Jesus is here in your town. All sorts of people were excited to hear Jesus teach. Shopkeepers, tent makers, fishermen, and even tax collectors. People from near and far came to hear Jesus. Start to run now, getting across town to get to Jesus. Whew, we made it. Come back down and let's sit crisscross applesauce. Let's pretend to be part of the crowd that gathered around to hear Jesus teach. Some people, however, didn't think Jesus should welcome all of these people. Some people in the crowd, like the tax collectors, weren't considered good people. They weren't like the religious leaders who followed all of the rules. Come to standing and let's pretend to be one of the religious leaders. Put your hands on your hips and make a grouchy face. Wrinkle up your nose and look down at all those tax collectors and sinners. Why would Jesus waste his time on these people, they thought. Start to scooch away from the sinners like the religious leaders would do. They want nothing to do with them. Oh no! One of the tax collectors, one of these people down here, these sinners bumped into me. Lift up your leg, find your balance, and brush off all the germs of the person who just bumped into you. You see what was happening? Come to see it and I'll tell you a little secret about the religious leaders back then. They thought they were better than everyone else. They thought that Jesus shouldn't talk to people who were bad or broke the rules. But do you know what Jesus thought? He thought that the religious leaders had a bad attitude. Jesus knows that every person, each one of us is special and important. God's love is never ending. He'll always seek us and love us. How big is God's love? It's from here to eternity. Let's start to jump up from here to eternity. Great big jumps all the way down, all the way up. That's how big God's love is. He'll never leave us. He'll always find us. And each one of us is important to him. Woo! So, to teach the people and the religious leaders about God's love for each person, even the ones that might seem unlovable, Jesus told this little story about a lost sheep. Let's have a seat. Each one of us is like the lost sheep in this story, and God is like the shepherd. Let's take a listen. Once, there was a little shepherd boy named Sam. Jump back up to be Sam. Sam loved to play a small wooden flute while taking care of his sheep. Pretend to play your flute and begin walking through the grassy hills, leading your sheep. The sheep loved the sound of Sam's flute, and whenever they heard it, they felt safe because they knew Sam was near. Come down to your hands and your knees now, and let's be the sheep. Ba, ba, ba. Now start to do a little sheep dance to the sound of Sam's flute. I'm not quite sure how sheep dance, but any kind of sheep dance would do. That's good. They were such happy sheep because they had a kind and loving shepherd who always takes care of them. Sam would wake them up in the morning with the sound of his flute. Pretend to be fast asleep with all the other sheep now. And then wake up. Let's jump up. Up, up, up. There's the sound of Sam's flute to wake us up. He would play his flute to lead them up a grassy mountain for lunch. Climb, climb, climb. Climb up the mountain to get to the beautiful green grassy area that Sam found over there. After lunch, Sam would lead them to the shade of an enormous tree. Come to balancing on one leg like a tree and the sheep would all sit and enjoy Sam's music. Whoa! Sit down now and sway side to side listening to the music that Sam would play for them. Sam had 100 sheep 
and he loved each and every one of them. 100 is a lot. Let's count by 10 with jumping jacks to get to 100. Ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good. Each sheep was unique and special. Little Sally sheep like to jump over daisies in the field. Come to squatting now and take little hops like Sally. Jumping over daisies, good. Silly Buddy the sheep was always trying to catch butterflies, like these butterflies way up here. Jump, 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 jump up and try to catch one. And sweet old Bertha the sheep was always walking into things because she couldn't see anymore. Come down to your hands and knees and let's bonk into this bonk and then bonk into this tree bonk, just like Bertha. Each sheep was different and unique and Sam loved them all. He was there when each and every one of them was born. Come up and pretend to rock your cute baby sheep to sleep. He protected them from lions. Come down and be a scary lion. Roar. And he protected them from bears. Jump up and be a big scary bear. Roar. And he led them up the mountains for the best green grass. Climb up, 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 climb up the mountain to the freshest streams of water. Swim through the streams now like a fish. Sam knew each sheep by name and he loved each one tremendously. Now one night, Sam was playing his flute for his sheep to put them to sleep. Play your flute like Sam now and walk around the grassy pasture as all your sheep fall asleep. As he was playing his flute, he counted his sheep, making sure each and every one of them was there safe and sound. Do you remember how many sheep Sam had? That's right, 100. Let's count them out again by tens with a jumping jack. You ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. But on this particular night, Sam didn't count to 100 sheep. What happened? He got to 90, and then let's count from there with a jump for each sheep after 90 that he counted. You ready? Come down, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. But that was it, just 99 sheep, not 100. Oh no! Who was missing? Sam counted his sheep one by one. Let's start hopping side to side to count the sheep and figure out who's missing. There's Sally, there's Bertha, there's Fluffy and Puffy, there's Baba and Cuddles. But where's Buddy? Where's silly Buddy who's always trying to catch butterflies? Oh no, it's Buddy who's missing. He must have been chasing butterflies and strayed away from the flock. Jump up, up, up like Buddy once again, trying to catch butterflies. Sam looked around and he saw the other 99 sheep sleeping peacefully. Come down now and pretend to sleep like the sheep. Do sheep snore? Probably. Let's make little sheep snores. Sam felt confident that these 99 were safe. So he set out in search of his lost sheep, Buddy. Come up and let's search with Sam. Run, 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 run. Look this way. Run, 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 run. Look that way. No sign of Buddy yet. Let's keep running. Let's go in this direction. And now let's look in this direction. Sam knew that sheep sometimes strayed from the flock, but he refused to lose even one. He would not give up. He looked high. Jump up and look high. Jump, jump, jump. He looked low. Come down and look low. He looked high and low. High and low. High and low. He looked through Buddy's favorite grassy field, but he wasn't there. He checked the stream where he loved to drink water, but he wasn't there. He had to venture further into the woods to look. Start to run now. We've got to find Buddy. Run, run, run. Now call for him. Buddy. Now run, 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 and call for him again. Buddy! Sam called, I love you. 
and I want you to come home. Just then, <laughs> Sam heard something. Come down low and let's take a listen. Put your hand to your ear. Shh. Do you hear anything? It was a faint little sheep cry. Sam heard it once again. Sam got up and ran toward the sound. Run, 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 faster, faster, faster. There ahead was Buddy with his curly fur stuck in the branches of a bush. Silly Buddy must have been jumping for butterflies and gotten stuck. Jump up, up, up like Buddy once again, trying to catch the butterflies. Silly Buddy must have been jumping for butterflies and gotten stuck. Jump up, up, up like Buddy once again, trying to catch the butterflies. Now kneel down low and scoop fluffy Buddy up. Kneel down and scoop. Kneel and scoop. Silly Buddy, Sam whispered as he held him close. It's no good to stray away from the flock. But I have found you now and I love you and I forgive you for straying. He lifted Buddy up and put him on his shoulders. Lift him up and put him on your shoulders. And then he walked the long distance back to the flock. Walk, 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 walk carefully with Buddy now. When he finally made it back, he sat sleeping Buddy down with the others. Kneel down and lay Buddy down to sleep. Good. And to be sure, Sam counted his sheep once again. Let's count by tens once more with jumping jacks. Ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Sam did a happy dance. Do your happy dance. Oh yeah, all the sheep are here. Oh yeah. Sam looked over his flock and each sheep was sleeping soundly. He knew each one now was where they belonged, with him, so that he could take care of them. Now that all 100 were safe, Sam could finally rest. He lay down with all his sheep and closed his eyes. Lay down now. Sam the shepherd loved all his sheep. Jesus told the crowd as he finished his story, sit up now to be Jesus finishing this story for the crowd. And God loves all his people, each and every one of you he loves. Let's bring our hands to our heart and close our eyes. We love you too, God. Amen. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.